welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk about a little bit about a story that happened to me, and I think it's actually one of the biggest, uh, biggest lies they tell you, you know, in the West these days. Um, that is that there's the uh, this concept or this notion or belief among people that respect is earned. You know, it's somehow it's like. Um, respect is not something that you should pay to unless you know someone has done something and then you earn that he earned your respect you know that, that kind of thing and he maybe you admire the guy's work uh, someone's come up to uh, some, some name i can come up to is like uh you know some 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 guys who've done a lot and this notion is actually a really big uh in my opinion, the biggest lie that they tell you in the West. Why? Why is that? Um, I'll just say recently I've um, watched a video. There was a, this Norwegian guy, and he says, you know, he he went to the UK once, and then you know, there was he felt that he was being basically uh, the guys were very unfriendly, um, <clears throat> and it always it always always been the case, but I think it's a lot worse these days. And he said that there was a guy at the rental car company and he was trying to rent a car and they kind of just felt really bothered and it if he felt that he was bothering them and the fact that they were like unfriendly they were kind of um, not interested in talking to him basically not giving him any respect right um, and that's just one of the situations. Uh, I guess you know, these days it could be every, everywhere. Disrespect is everywhere in the West these days. It, it can be, um, you know, road rage, people uh, honking each other on the road. You know, it's, it's everyday occurrence for very little thing. And then as a result, there's a lot of confrontations coming out of that. Um, but <clears throat> this never happened, this rarely happens in Asia, you know. And the fact that the respect people actually think that respect is earned is there's something wrong with them, I think. And I think that they're gaslighting you as well. They're gaslighting you into thinking that they are correct, right? So uh, let me just tell you a story. Once, uh, I remember, I think this was also about um, coursework, uh, some kind of coursework I did. There was a case where, you know, we were, we were working, I was working with someone in a group and it was similar to the um, situation in my previous video where a woman called me a bro. And this time, it was actually a lot worse, even worse. And this time what happened was that, <clears throat> I think we were talking about like, you know, can you do this? And then, you know, some, some favors that I needed to ask and basically, this guy pops up with this notion that I've never heard before and there was this notion that he said respect is earned and at that time I was like I felt something weird with that with that sentence you know I, I, I couldn't I couldn't tell what it is I couldn't say what it is but it just felt weird you know it felt it felt awkward it felt just disrespectful the fact that he said that and it almost seemed like you know he's saying this respect is earned meaning that I got to do something for him in order to earn my re his respect so that he can do something for me no bro it doesn't work like that man respect is should be mutual respect is a basis of human interaction right Respect is not earned. What you're talking, what some people might confuse respect with like some kind of admiration or something like, like say for example, I respect some guys who've done a lot of work in a company and he's helped, you know, create a lot of jobs, that kind of person, or like some entrepreneur who's, he's really making a, you know, contribution to the society, to the, to the um, local, local communities, yeah, that's respect. That's that's something that's like, you know, I wish, you know, I I, I admire what he's done. I, I really like what he's done. That's what is respect, right? 
Uh, but on a day-to-day, -day, it's different, right? The day-to-day, -day, it should be a mutual respect. It's not like saying that you're giving uh, to other, another person um, and then he, he then feels respect and then he can't do something for you. No, man. It doesn't, it shouldn't be working like that. That's why a lot of the Western societies are, it is the way today. Because there's no respect. And people are misunderstanding it. And people are, uh, even worse, people are gaslighting you. You know, people are saying that, you know what, respect is earned. You don't give me anything, you don't deserve respect. Bullshit. You know, I call this bullshit. I call this the biggest lie in human history, actually. You know, because if, if you think about it, what's human interaction based on? Basis is respect. That's the basis, right? Have you ever seen, and, and it's not really, um, it's not really, a, it's not really, I think, a culture thing is it? Some religions do impose more respect. For example, if you go to Brazil, it, people are respectful. If you go to Thailand, Philippines, people are respectful, right? So religion does impose some of that. And I think someone's religious, who, for example, um, and if he has a Brazilian, he res he'll respect everybody. This just because he believes in he believes in God, right? So I think also in Asian cultures you have Buddhism, which is the fundamental <laughs> the fundamental um, religion and people the fundamental belief is is respect, right? Um, so <clears throat> this notion that you you are in conclusion this notion that you are you are being you are being taught that you are being said to sub by someone that your respect is earned you need to deserve my respect that is just narcissist right that's just that's just bullshit i call it right and these guys they're lost so let me know what you guys think